So I pull, push my elbow even deep. So I try to. Now we're gonna do one of my favorite techniques ever the baseball choke from the side mount or knee on stomach. Let's do it. So the baseball choke works something like this. It's fairly simple and quick and very elusive. So I'm just normal side mount. Now my head side hand enters the thumb roughly behind his neck, okay? And now I just need a tiny bit of space and I enter my hip side hand, four fingers in, deep, pull and then bring my hip side elbow to the floor and that's it so now look palm up so i usually i would try to grab very far but if i want to go for the baseball choke i grab like directly on his spine so i have a lot of space and i don't need to enter my second hand as deep and usually I will just enter the thumb, then pressure push, can you show here? Just grab like this. It's too uncomfortable when his uh, gi is very um, tight to try and grab like this. So I just pressure his collar a bit. And then I just put my knee on his stomach to just give a bit of space, even when his arms are closed. Yeah, it gives me a bit of space and I post his hand. I got enough space to enter four fingers. Whoop. And then I just grab the whole fabric like so. Now it's really important. So to improve the leverage, I actually pull first before I push down. I pull because now the leverage, like this is the angle point. This is the point of force and this is where I uh, press, uh, push. So the leverage now is like one to three. But if I pull, now the point of force is here. So the leverage is now like one to six. So I have two times as much pressure with the same amount of uh, input. So I pull until my wrist is on his neck. I straighten my left arm to bring his neck closer to my other hand. And now I really need to bring my elbow off his shoulder. So many beginners struggle because they try to push their elbow into the shoulder of their opponent. So I slide off until I'm deep. Okay, sorry. <laughs> until I'm deep and then bring it low. Another very important detail that I look for is to have my hands in neutral position. So I grab, I insert, I close my hand, right? I pull and now I bring my hand into a fairly neutral position and I won't bend at the elbow. I will not. Pop, keep the hand neutral and consciously flex my wrist a bit and bring my wrist into close, into um, sideways deviation, inwards deviation. So this way, pop, towards the thumb to increase the pressure with my ulna that's close to my wrist. So already this one, you feel the difference, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it totally nullifies the chance of hurting my own wrist. If I try to choke him like this, I might hurt my own wrist and I weaken my grip. Actually, my, weak is a, uh, my grip is a lot weaker like this than like this. It's stronger in a neutral position. So neutral position, lift his head and then drop. Sorry. <laughs> so, and then drop, boom. And now I can just push my elbow even deeper. Let me go deeper. <laughs> and I use the head side hand. It's not just to hold the collar, but I do the opposite. So I bring it a bit into extension and sideways deviation to use my blade, to use my radius close to the wrist to push his neck up and closer to the other hand. So these two parts are playing the game, right? The collar is merely connecting the two for power. So now look, if I drop my elbow, then I need a lot of weight and his head can move freely. So instead, straighten my left arm, 
pull on his collar like this, bap, and then down. So I want to use a motion similar to, do you know this, this jamon serrano, this like very expensive Spanish uh, jambon? Uh, um, and how is it? Uh, bacon, no? No, it's not bacon. Never mind. <laughs> so you kind of hold it down like it's in a stand and you use a long knife to cut. Shh, shh, shh. I want to use that motion. So it's not a scissor. It's not two arms with a blade. This one is the blade. This one is the stand that holds. So I'm, yeah, I'm propping his neck up. Pap and in. Yeah. And I'm using a very open motion. So I try to just use a trajectory that's out in the open and choke. So obviously you can also use it directly from the stomach, boop. And I want to show one more detail how it's a lot easier to insert the fingers. Because many people struggle with bringing the four fingers deep enough because they try to come from here. But look, if I start inserting my fingers up in the chest, here it's very easy. And then I just move down into his collar. So it's a lot easier than trying to, if, especially if his gi is tight, then to fight for here and then you're not deep enough. Come here, wrap, insert down, pull, and finish. Oops. That's how you do the baseball choke from the side mount. It's one of my favorite chokes. It's so effective, it's so strong. Try it out, try those details out for yourself, and I'm happily waiting your feedback and see you next time.